Hello, um, today I'm gonna do something different, I'm not gonna do, be doing a gothic let's play video, but even though I've already made one, I'm gonna show a guide to using a Warrior Mesmer Echo Underworld build, which is also a solo build. Now this build is very, well it's not easy to use, but it's between there, and it's also very reliable at keeping you alive and also fighting large amount of groups. Now, for the basic curriculum, let's see. Yeah, the build consists of Echo, Whirlwind Attack, uh, suggests you have at least 8, 9, or 10 Sunspear rank, Lion's Comfort, which is optional. Um, you can also replace this for another very good skill, Arcane Echo, which um, gives you a 100% guarantee success of always keeping up your visages. Physical Resistance, which is a must. Vanity's Defense, which is optional, but I suggest using it in times of need. Sympathetic and Ancestor's Visage, which are well, you won't really be able to fight anything without them too. And Enraging Charge, which you can also use as Sprint, but I use Enraging Charge basically because when I attack something, it gives you an adrenaline bonus. Now onto the attributes. Uh, you should have 9 Illusion Magic, maybe 5 Inspiration Magic, which gives you a good bonus for physical resistance. Th this is really, really depends on you, strength. But when you're using um, your weapons, you must have a strength shield, not a tactic shield, or you won't have enough. Oh wait, actually, you, it doesn't really matter. One way or the other, it's still good. I have 14 strength. Uh, I used a superior rune of strength. You don't need to do that, but I use it just in case my lion's comfort is uh, needed and I get a fast health regeneration boost. Now, axe mastery. Axe or sword doesn't really matter which one you use. I prefer axe probably because it's slightly more powerful. Uh, if you if your requirement is above ten, then you can take some uh, skill points away from strength and put them onto axe mastery. Now onto the weapons. Okay, this really doesn't matter, but you you should have a requirement nine or requirement ten axe or sword and a max damage, of course, with a Oh, wait, with a zealous mod on it, which is an energy gain on hit 1, but energy regeneration minus 1. You should also have an inscription, Dance with Death, which gives you a 15% bonus damage while in stance. Onto the shield, and you should have a requirement uh, 9 or 10, no, not 10, just 9 if you want. And you should also have a mod of endurance which gives you 45 plus health while in a stance. I've got 44 but that doesn't really make much difference. And also an inscription sheltered by fate which reduces the phys physical damage you receive by 2. Now, <clears throat> let's see. Oh yes, of course, the armor. Now, not much here with the armor, except uh, you, if you're using a sword or axe weapon, I suggest having a stacking of either swordsmanship or axe mastery on your helmet. Also, uh, I suggest having a major, mm, sorry, major rune of Vega or whatever it's called, which gives you a 41 health bonus. Now. Also, make sure you have a knight's, what's it called, knight's insignia, which reduces physical damage you receive by 3. 
also have a superior absorption rune, which also reduces your physical damage by 3, or well, receive physical damage. And the rest is up to you. So that's basically what you need. Yes, it's a whole lot I know, but anyways, it's worth it because the run gives you quite a lot of ectos if you're lucky. Okay, so yep, that's basically the what you need. And the next part of this is gonna show you the run.